What is this again? More sun in Dublin? Sunshine? People walking on the streets, waiting for buses, cars driving by? This never happens. Well, I guess you do get a occasional break from the from the uh, gray around here. Ooh, look at that. Right there, walking past my door. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Yep. Yep. The views are great. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna help you out here. Make another little video. So, first and foremost, shout out to my man Connor McBride, one of my viewers who's out of Belfast. He's thinking about moving to Dublin after he finishes school in Belfast. So, I'm going to make this video about the nightlife in Dublin because that's what he was asking about. So, Connor, it really depends on what your scene is. Dublin's got a great nightlife scene. Um, if one of the positive things about Dublin, it's definitely the nightlife scene. So it really depends on what your scene is. If you're into rock and roll music, if you're into kind of the more independent style music, if you're into traditional Irish music, just, you know, club style music, or, you know, do you like to hang out at lounges or at bars or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to throw out two or three of my favorite places around. Maybe I'll even get you in a fourth place. So first and foremost, uh, since you're finishing up college, I'm assuming that one of the things that you're going to be worried about the most is budget, okay? And if you're worried about budget but you still want to have a really good time, you still want to go to a nice club and you still want to re meet some really, really nice people, if you know what I mean, some really nice people, first place I would suggest for you, it's a place that they call Dicey's, or some people refer to it as Crystal. It's actually two clubs that are put together in one, and it's kind of in an area um, that has a number of different clubs in it. Um, but anyway, it's this place, Dicey's. On Tuesday nights, they have pints for two fifty, two euros and fifty cents. It used to be two euros uh, for drinks. All drinks there throughout that night are two euros and fifty cents. Okay. On Fridays, they will have three euros and fifty cent drinks. That is the best deal that they have in Dublin. I've been to a number number of the different clubs. I go to a lot of clubs, <clears throat> you know, whether it be regular areas or VIP areas or whatever the case may be, that is the best deal that I have found in Dublin. It doesn't get any better than two euros and 50 cents per pint or per drink in Dublin at this point, okay? That place is gonna be primarily a younger crowd. You'll get some students in there. On Tuesdays in particular, you'll get a lot of Brazilians. You'll get a lot of um, Asians in there, um, and it's a fairly younger crowd, so definitely check out that place. If you're into more of the rock and roll style scene, um, which is kind of what I'm more into, um, there is a place on Friday nights, no, sorry, pardon me, <clears throat> on Saturday nights, <clears throat> something caught in my throat there, on Saturday night, <clears throat> got it again. On Saturday nights, there's a pub called O'Reilly's, and it's underneath the Tara Street Dart Station. The Dart is the train rail that we have going through Dublin. Um, so in the city center, underneath the Tara Street Dart Station, there's a pub called O'Reilly's. It's this real cool kind of like catacomb style, almost like dark, a lot of stonework, gargoyles, real interesting scene there. On Saturday nights, they run a thing called Club Hell, okay? And they play metal music from about 9.30 p.m. all the way up to 1.30, uh, 1.30 a.m., which is when they close. On those nights, they serve pints for three euros and 30 cents. That's the best deal that I have found in Dublin on a Saturday night is O'Reilly's place called Club Hell, and it's real metal. So if you're into metal music, they start off with more of the old school kind of rock from in the early afternoon, and then towards the end of the night, they get into more of the, the metal from this age. There's nothing super crazy. They're not playing uh, tons of Slayer or anything like that, but they will, play, um, they will play some good stuff. So it's not anything too heavy, though. If you're looking at just kind of like the traditional scene, go to Temple Bar. That's going to be full of tourists. Um, it's going to be full of, 
of kind of like the traditional Irish music and stuff like that. Um, so those are the three things that I can really think of off the top of my head, or the three places that I can really think of off the top of my head. Um, you might be a little bit younger, so I'm going to fill you in on, on some of the places that might be a little more hip for people of your age. I don't know if you're you're 21 or 22 or something like that. I'm, I'm 26. I'm going to be 27 here in a couple days. But um, if you're younger, there's a couple places that you should know about. One, the place that you should know about is called uh, The Palace. The Palace is a place where a lot of people who are coming from out of town, like the country areas in Ireland, um, if they're coming into Dublin for a weekend, especially the girls, the young girls, they go to a place called The Palace. The Palace on the weekends runs a, a cutest girl competition. And every weekend, I believe, the cutest girl gets like 500 euros or something ridiculous like that. So there's tons of fine women running in and out of this place at night. And the scene is primarily 18 to 21. I'd say 18 to 21. I believe on Fridays or Saturdays, it's strictly 21s and up, but I've never been there. I'm not gonna go there. The next place that you should know about is a place called Copper Face Jacks, or most people refer to it as Coppers. A lot of people from out of town in the country areas will come to Coppers. This area from what I, or this nightclub from what I've heard is a meat market, literally a meat market. And if you ask anybody about Coppers in Dublin, they'll probably have some sort of cringe on their face and go, oh, Coppers, I've been there a couple times. Like they've had bad experiences there or something. But I have heard literally anything and everything goes in this place. People are falling all over the place, dancing on tables, making out in the corners and stuff like that. That's the place that I hear people go if they wanna, if they wanna just find a random hookup. Um, <clears throat> again, it's gonna be a younger crowd. I hear that there are a lot of guards that go there when they're off. There are a lot of nurses that go there when they're off, so primarily on the weekend. So it really depends on what you're looking for. I've never been there, of course, because I'm not that kind of guy. But that might be something that you're into. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. If any of you have any other questions that you might be interested in, such as nightlife, um, where you can find the best drinks, places that might have a certain style or scene that you might want, comment on my videos, ask me some questions, subscribe to my videos, send me an email, find some way to get a hold of me, and I'll make a video, and I'll do my best to try and answer it. This is my own personal experience. I'm sure if you came here and asked somebody else down the street who's lived here from tw for 20 years, they might tell you something different. But I'm giving you my real experience and what I've been through here over the last year and, and six months or so. And I feel like I've gotten a pretty good hold on Dublin and its nightlife at this point. Thanks for watching. Come to Dublin. Have a safe time. Wrap it up.